On September 29, 2008, businessman Tom Petters was arrested for operating a Ponzi scheme that allegedly fleeced investors out of $3.5 billion. Tom Petters was held in Sherburne County Jail for a year while his attorneys and government attorneys made preparations for this week's trial. U.S. v. Thomas J. Petters finally got underway October 28th at the Federal Courthouse in St. Paul, Judge Richard H. Kyle presiding. Assistant U.S. Attorney Joseph Dixon gave a summary of the charges and the evidence that the prosecutors will introduce in his opening statement. Dixon played some audio clips from recorded conversations with Tom Petters. Joe Dixon pointed to Tom Petters and assured the jury that the prosecution would prove Petters guilty of fraud. The defense said Tom Petters was innocent and it was his assistants, Deanna Coleman, Larry Reynolds, and Michael Katane, and others were really responsible for the fraud. They were, in his words... Instruments of darkness and doers of foul, foul deeds. The second day of the trial began with Assistant U.S. Attorney John Marty questioning witnesses who became involved in Tom Petter's complex web of financial dealings. Witnesses testified how the scheme almost unraveled in 2000 when phony purchase orders were used to borrow a large sum of money. On the third day of the trial, Greg Colburn of the Interlock and Hedge Fund told how he lost $60 million when Petters was busted by the government in September 2008. Next week, Deanna Coleman, former Petters associate turned whistleblower, is expected to testify.